The U.S. seizing that North Korean ship, and it comes not long after North Korea launched those short-range ballistic missiles. It's the second weapons test in just a matter of days. The U.S. taking action for the first time in seizing a ship belonging to North Korea. And as you know, the president has stood on the world stage with Kim Jong-un twice now, holding those summits. So tonight, where does this turn next? ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, leading us off. Tonight, this massive North Korean cargo ship now under American control. The first time the U.S. has ever seized a North Korean cargo vessel for violating U.S. sanctions. Found off the coast of Indonesia, one of a fleet of so-called ghost ships, which prosecutors say was illegally and secretly transporting huge shipments of coal, forbidden under the strict sanctions imposed to force the North to give up its nuclear weapons. The Justice Department announcing the seizure just hours after Kim Jong-un oversaw the launch of two short-range ballistic missiles. And just days after he fired a volley of missiles and rockets, the first public missile test since Kim met President Trump in Singapore nearly one year ago. In response to Saturday's launch, President Trump tweeting that Kim knows that I am with him and does not want to break his promise to me. Deal will happen. But today, after that second round of missiles, the president has changed his tone. We're looking at it very seriously right now. Nobody's happy about it. I know they want to negotiate. They're talking about negotiating, but I don't think they're ready to negotiate. Not only that, but with these provocations, Kim leaves open the possibility he may begin nuclear or long-range missile tests once again. Martha Raddus with us live tonight. Martha, you and I have traveled to those summits together, and I know there is news tonight. The president now nominating Patrick Shanahan to officially become defense secretary. He's been in an acting capacity for months now. This all comes amid these rising tensions, not only with Iran and Venezuela, but now tonight uh, North Korea as well, Martha. And as you point out, the president saying no one is happy about this. No one is happy in the administration, David, David, because it is hard to see how these two sides get back to the table unless Kim stops these provocative tests. He is clearly ramping up pressure and demonstrating with these mobile launch missiles that he's gaining greater capabilities and as of right now has done absolutely nothing to rid his nation of nuclear weapons. David. All right, Martha Raddatz leading us off tonight. Martha, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.